Hello guys, I'm Alex and welcome to you another tutorial of Embedded Systems Programming. Today we are going to do a utter basic program of blinking and LED. First of all, open your browser. Then go on to developer.embed.org. It is a best practice to use the direct URL instead of going on to the main site and then going on to the developer account. Then go in and log in. I've showed you guys how to use this online compiler in my last tutorial. If you guys missed it, the link will be in the description or you can navigate yourself through the playlist. So fill in your username and your password. I'm logged in as you guys can see. Click on the compiler. A new tab pops up. Let it load. Now we have to make a new project for doing so. Click on the new tab on your left top corner. Click new program. The platform that we are going to use is FRDMKL25Z, which is a freedom board. Let the template be as it is. You don't need to select a new one. You can name your program. I'm going to name this program as LED blinking tutorial by Alex click OK it says creating program please wait it doesn't take much time if you have a good system now click on the main dot CPP you will be welcomed with the screen you can delete it out this is the program actually which we are going to do but to be a good programmer you guys need to practice every single step so make sure that you type out every single step instead of copy pasting now that we are in our main.cpp you can say this is a C program but we are going to import in different libraries for the different ports and purposes so first of all as we used to do include stdio but we are not going to do that we are going to use an embed system so the first and the foremost thing that we will include in all our project henceforth is include quotation marks embed dot h which is the header file h stands for header move on to the next line now we need to use an interface between our software and the hardware and the main hardware that we are going to use as our output is the led so in order to blink out your led you need to interface using the function digital out which configures your digital ports now here digital out is a class give a space and the next thing can be a variable which can be anything in the world it can be rat it can be mango that's now how it's spelled okay it can be mango or it can be apple as well but make sure as a programmer we have to give out some sensible names so that the person who approaches your code or has a look at it should be able to understand although he will be able to definitely identify it later but make sure it is sensible so that it is easy for us to decode or debug later on so I'm going to use my LED or simply LED also make sure whenever you're giving out LED it is not in caps because the capital LED is already assigned to some other function in this program so tap out a small LED and then open round brackets in that you need to insert your pin numbers which are the ports so please do not type with me we do not need this code this is just for your understanding so hence on we will denote R is red which has the port number ptb18 you don't have to re remember these pin numbers as you can go through the data sheet g is equal to green which has the port number ptb19 b is equal to blue which is ptd1 i don't know why they haven't kept ptb20 which would be really easy but as you know they screw us with all the different things so having said that we will use a blue LED so as I said for the blue LED you will use the port number PTD1 
and make sure you end this with a semicolon now I'm going to comment it out so that you guys can understand really well so the digital output is a class which doesn't change you have to define it in order to interface then the word LED is a object which you can change but make sure that you name it really sensible if not it's fine this program is going to work 100% and in the round brackets there is a port number or you can say pin number of that LED the developer board usually has three LEDs which is now been optimized to one LED so the board we are using has just one LED but which gives out three primary colors which is RGB which is red green and blue and it gives several secondary colors using those three primary colors so one LED is sufficient we start our program by int main which is the same in the C program and it is a good habit to intent and comment it is a good practice for any programmer to type in both the open and the close brackets together and then you can space out also it is a time saver because you don't have to do match the following at the end of the program right the first step is to write while what does this code mean is it is an infinite loop that means see we want our LED to blink as on off on off on and off we don't want our LED to just blink once and turn off right so this while one operation lets the program run in infinite loop as we want it after the while one make sure you open the curly brackets as I told you guys make sure it is properly intended now that you have spaced it out the real program comes in over here it is a very simple program you just have to assign when to switch on and when to switch off so how do you do that first of all you take your object LED is equal to 1 now here I have to really tell you guys to focus on what I'm saying in next one minute please don't type out what I'm going to type out this is just for your understanding as we know that 1 is equal to high which means on in electronics right and 0 is equal to low which means off but that's not the case when it comes to embedded system LED here it's opposite which means 1 is low which is off and 0 is high which means on so can you guess what this function might do LED is equal to 1 what it will do is it will turn the LED off okay I'm going to remove this the next step is to enter a delay of 0 0.5 seconds by using the wait operation our next step is to turn on the LED which is LED is equal to 0 semicolon what does this function do is it will turn on your LED our next step is to give out 0 0.5 seconds delay again please know that this time delay is in seconds itself the next step is to click on save the next step is to compile and download give it few seconds to compile if there is any error it will throw out in this compiler output for program dialog box with a description but right now it says success so that means there is no error whatsoever open your file in the folder you don't have to open this file on your computer all you have to do is select this file copy it then connect your device to your desktop or your laptop it will show a drive that pops up just as when you connect your USB so go into that and just paste your code right over there as soon as the code is pasted you can see the following output on your embedded system right away you can achieve the same with the red and the green all you need to do is just change the port numbers to ptb18 for red and ptb19 for green and then make sure you save it compile it open the file in the folder copy that file and paste it in the device drive folder that's it i forgot to tell you guys that why we inserted a delay 
as well as the off operation right see what happens is when you just have the led on it will stay on in an infinite loop in order for the led to blink you need a off operation which is led is equal to 1 so this operation turns on this operation turns off and this on and off operation will go on and on in an infinite loop due to the wild one the reason we inserted a delay of 0 0.5 5 seconds is because you want to see the difference when the LED is switching off and on. You don't want the LED to just switch on, switch off, switch off. What happens when you don't add a delay is due to the persistence of the vision, you won't be able to see when your LED is on and when your LED is off. If you guys have any queries or if you guys need the code, then there is a link in the description to a blog post. You can click on it and get all the tutorials and the posts update. If you find any other difficulties, comment below. This is it for now. See you guys in next tutorial.